Welcome back, guys and gals. This is our uh, Greg Silverman here, another session of Come Learn With Me. This is our first uh, sessions of the new year, so Happy New Year. And this article is from early December. Bears beware, some bubble has been taken out of the market. All right, let's see. Um, so much pain at all-time highs. Several pockets of the equity market have repriced significantly lower since November. Mm -hmm. An index of non-profitable tech an expensive software index have plunged, and an expensive software index have plunged 24 and 18% respectively since mid-November, while Nasdaq 100 only down 9% since November 19. High non-professional tech down 7%. Okay, yeah. So we've been saying that for a while that there's a bit of definitely a bit of dispersion going on in the market, uh, and even more so in the new year. So how much pain for or some or many at all time highs, two amazing stats. Almost a third of the stocks in the NASDAQ comp were down 50% from highs. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Over the last six months, four stocks, Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia, and Google, have generated almost 70% of the S&P 500's return. So normally in market parlance, that means the market's getting narrower, and it means the bull market is well, you just don't have so many stocks following in the bull market. A lot of bubble deflated here at all-time highs. A Goldman Sachs index that tracks unprofitable U.S. tech stocks has tumbled 25% within a month. And I should say it's probably lower as of this uh, recording. Another bubble element deflated. IPOs can also go down even in a raging bull market. 49% of the 43 IPOs that raised over a billion dollars this year are trading below their listing price. Yes, that is below listing price, not opening print. Oh, wow. Okay. Reversed FOMO at all-time highs. Nice bid or inflow into money market funds here at close to all-time high in equities. Prudent. FOMO never really materialized. Charts show cumulative fund flows across assets. Okay, let's we'll see what this is talking about. So money market assets have been climbing uh, whilst equities have been climbing. So people are not fearing missing out is what it's saying. A lot of body blows and still standing. Global equities have resolved in a series of body blows recently, a return of the COVID variable, a Fed that seemingly backed itself into a corner and a sequence of large de-risking from both the systemic, systematic and discretionary trading communities. Goldman's prime brokerage reports that on a 10-day cumulative basis, we have seen the largest dollar net selling since April 20. But in US tech, it was the largest net selling in five years. 3.2 Sigma event. That's a big event, in other words. Infotech stocks were net sold for a fifth straight day, nine out of 10. Tony Aquariello of Goldman Sachs. There's usually a few times a year when it feels like everything goes wrong at once in the market. And I'd argue the past few weeks fit that bill across the equities complex. There's no shortage of painful examples. Chinese ADRs, non-profitable tech stocks, and retail favorites have all been summarily taken to the woodshed and buka buka shot. Sh shitty breath. <laughs> 52 week highs are printing rather low levels. Okay, well, there you have it. So market breadth is definitely uh, decreasing. And so only the the strongest of the strong are going up. So there you have it, guys. Uh, if you want to know more about our investment programs, check out the links below. Uh, if you're an investor, we have the uh, investment link where you can come and register and see our investment programs. If you're an investment manager and you'd like some help uh, getting the word out about your investment fund or uh, co-investment or whatever it may be, check out our LOMS program. Also, the link is below. Thanks for joining us. This is Greg Silverman, out for now.